G'day guys and welcome back to another lesson. This time I'm going to look at Pillow Talk by Zayn. Now it's not a really drummy song, but it's been doing really well on the charts, so I thought it'd be worth having a look at. There's a little bit of coordination stuff that we can check out, and uh, the beat itself is pretty straightforward, so hopefully you'll be up and running in no time. Anyway, let's get on the kit and check it out. Okay, for starters, we're going to look at the kick drum pattern. Now it's a two bar loop, and it happens for a lot of the song. It goes like this. Next, there's an electronic snare drum sound, and I'm going to play that up on 10 inch hi-hats today. But you could play it on the rim of one of your drums, maybe up on the bell of your ride cymbal, just to get a different sound than the snare drum that we'll use in the chorus. Okay, so the rhythm that those are playing sounds like this. Together, the kick and the hands will sound like this. Okay, cool. Now, to make it sound even more like the song, we can throw a little drag on a couple of the notes on the hi-hats. And that will sound like this. Okay, so that makes things a little bit trickier, but if you practice two drags, that should be no problems at all. Okay, and now we'll look at the chorus, and those are pretty much the two sections that will get you through the entire song. The chorus by itself sounds like this. So that kick drum pattern is still playing exactly the same, we've just added kind of like a rock beat over the top. So that's super easy. But to challenge yourself, the electronic drum is still going. So what I've done is I've mashed those two parts together to try and get the rock beat playing as well as the right hand still doing most of the electronic snare drum sound. So together that will sound like this if you're up for the challenge. So the easiest way that I've found is just to get the left hand to play the hi-hats and the right hand to play the pattern with the snare drum, substituting every time there's a beat 2 or a beat 4. So hopefully you can get that happening because it does sound kind of cool and it's a great challenge for your independence. Other than that, there's a couple of tiny little fills where the kick drum changes. It might play 1, 2, 3 instead of the rhythm that we've been playing, but there's not really much else happening. So if you can get that cool pattern on the hi-hats with the kick drum, and then the chorus with the hi-hat still going, you have got this song down pat. So that's Pillow Talk by Zane, and I hope you've enjoyed. I'll catch you guys at the next lesson.